Hey there, Daphne Lavina here, Regulated Canadian Immigration Consultant, and you are watching my Q&A Thursday. Today, I'm going to answer your questions about the SINP International Skilled Worker category. If you've been following me for some time now, you know that SINP is my favorite immigration program, not only because I'm based here in Saskatchewan and I know how great this province is for newcomers, but also because it fast tracks your application process without you frantically looking for an employer to sponsor you. That's right. SINP International Skilled Workers Subcategory is an independent immigration program and you won't need an employer to sponsor you to qualify under the program. There are two subcategories in the program. The first one is the Express Entry Subcategory and the next one is the Occupations in Demand Subcategory. Here's how the Express Entry Subcategory works. The first step is for you to create a profile in IRCC's Express Entry Pool. Then you will submit an expression of interest to SINP and wait to receive an invitation to apply from SINP. Once you get an invitation to apply from SINP, you will then have 60 days to submit your application for nomination to the province of Saskatchewan. Once SINP reviews your application and they see that you qualify under the program, SINP will then issue a certificate of nomination and in the next draw for the express entry, you will surely receive an invitation to apply from IRCC. After you get the ITA from IRCC, you will then have 60 days to submit your application for a permanent resident visa to IRCC through the Express Entry System online. The steps in applying for the Occupations in Demand subcategory is a bit different since you won't have to go through the Express Entry System for this program. The first step would be to submit an expression of interest to SINP online. Then you will wait to receive an invitation to apply from SINP. Once you receive your ITA from SINP, you will then have 60 days to submit your application for nomination to the province of Saskatchewan. SINP will review your application and if they see that you qualify under the program, they will then issue a certificate of nomination and the next step would be for you to submit a paper application for your permanent residence visa to IRCC within six months from the date that you received your nomination certificate. So how do you qualify for the SINP International Skilled Worker category? The first thing you should check is SINP's in-demand occupations list. I created an assessment guide for you and you can download it from the link below. Click the link on page 2 of the guide to see the most current list of occupations in demand in Saskatchewan. If you find your occupation there and you have at least one year work experience in that occupation, let's go ahead and go through the rest of the requirements so you can get nominated by SINP. Here are the assessment factors that would affect your qualification under the International Skilled Worker Program. If you're applying under the Express Entry subcategory, you will need at least 6.0 in each of the abilities evaluated by IELTS. So make sure when you look at your results from IELTS, make sure that you have at least 6.0 in each of the ability. Don't just look at your overall um, band score. For language requirements under the Occupations in Demand subcategory, you will need at least 4.5 in listening, 3.5 in reading, 4.0 in writing, and 4.0 in speaking. For education, you need to have completed 
a post-secondary education training or apprenticeship that is equal to one year post-secondary education in Canada and preferably your education should be related to your occupation. For age, there's actually no age limit under the SINP International Skilled Worker, but you'll get the highest score for age if you are between 22 to 34 years old. Since the SINP International Skilled Worker category is an independent immigration program, you are required to provide proof that you've got enough funds for your resettlement in Canada. The amount required is based on the number of persons in your application. You can refer to the assessment guide you downloaded for the required amount in your case. Now, now I'd like you to fill in the assessment guide you downloaded with your score for each factor and check to see if your total score is 60. Did you get 60? If you did, Congratulations, you have a good chance of getting nominated by SINP. If your score is less than 60, review the assessment guide and check to see how you can improve your points. So now you may be wondering, which subcategory should you apply under? If you can get accepted into the express entry pool, you should apply under the express entry subcategory. The express entry subcategory is the quicker way. You can actually get your permanent residence visa in less than one year under this category. The occupations in demand subcategory is the easier way. I call it the easier way because the minimum language requirement is CLB4. Easy peasy, right? There you have it, the SINP International Skilled Worker category. I hope you learn more about your options under the SINP now. If you know someone who might benefit from the information in this episode, please share and if you find it helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and visit www.immigrationcoach.ca for more updates and tips on Canadian immigration. Just in case you're still unsure if the SINP is the right path to obtain your permanent residency in Canada, book a consultation with me so I can thoroughly assess your qualifications and we can discuss your options. You can visit our website at www.immigrationcoach.ca to book an appointment with me. Thanks for watching my Q&A Thursday.